Breakfast was great. Can't complain. Today's devotional is God enables us. Romans 1, 5 through 6. It is through him that we receive grace and our apostleship to promote obedience to the faith and make disciples for his name's sake among all nations. Now, don't forget, this includes you and me. Called of Jesus Christ and invited as you are to belong to him. Amen. God gave us beauty for ashes, the oil of joy for mourning, and the gourmet of praise for the spirit of heaviness. God gave us whatever we need to be victorious. Because he enables us, we credit him for all the good things in our lives. At least we should. Get up today and do the best you can. And then let God do the rest. Don't try to make mistakes or try to fail. But when you do, but when you do, repent and get things straight with God. Mike, this goes out to you, man. You need to get things straight with God, boo. Mike, this goes out to you, man. If you have to apologize to somebody, it doesn't matter who it is. Go and apologize. Don't be prideful. Receive your forgiveness and go on. Hey, devil dog, I know you're going into the fleet, boo. Do your best, man. But remember, remember, let God lead the way. Don't try to do it yourself. God's will is for us to live by faith. You may be thinking how far you have to go in order to be all that God wants you to be. And you feel overwhelmed. Your mind wants to think, this is just too much. I will never be able to do all that he asked me to do. This is where faith comes in. When David's heart was overwhelmed, he cried out to God, Lead me to the rock that is higher than I. This is Psalm 61, 2-3. You can think, I don't know how I am going to do it, but I am expecting God's help. With God, all things are possible, man. All things are possible. The biggest task is to get started. To get started and keep going day by day. Refuse to be discouraged by how far you think you still have to go. God is pleased that you're on your way, man. You are on your way. So hit the fleet with your head up high and with God leading the way. Trust me, God is pleased with where you're at. That's Philippians 3.12.